there is a lot of new infrastructure to support the labs. We coordinated uh, two equipment pads for the two new equipment pads for the roof that have all the new rooftop equipment, uh, the chillers, the fans, two new air handlers, um, and uh, some other miscellaneous pieces of equipment that were central to where all the new labs are going to be located. And we can drop risers down to make the, the layout as efficient as possible and as flexible as possible to allow Motorola um, the time they needed to um, finalize their programming requirements. When we're deciding how to bring in large pieces of equipment or steel. Um, there's, there's a couple of things that we look at and we decide if we can bring it up conventionally or if we have to bring it up with a helicopter. So then we talked about bringing you know, the beams in, bringing them up in pieces. We started doing the math. We started running the numbers on labor and safety of the guys and hoisting these things. And it really didn't make any sense. That job itself, not only was it on the Merchandise Mart, one of the larger buildings in Chicago, if not the United States, is how many lifts it was. A uh, typical job downtown, on a high side would be about 30 lifts. I think we were around 180 or 184 lifts on this project. Helicopter lifts are, are, uh, are challenging. There's a lot of things that go into it, especially the helicopter lift we had for all the steel. I and mean, Very rarely do you have a 10-hour lift where it's just up and down and up and down. Um, you know, safety's the biggest challenge, uh, and we had some extra variables in that. Um, you know, there was a construction site next door with a crane. We're picking off a barge, so now you've got a, uh, a drowning hazard. The logistical planning of it, making sure we had the multiple entrances to the building covered, we had the river to the front of the building addressed, because we were picking from not only on the street, but we also had a barge in material down below, so we were picking from there. You have the river to deal with, you have the taxi boats, you have the tourists, and everything along those lines. So through the planning process, it took I think over a month or two uh, between a contractor and a general contractor of how we wanted to lift it, where we wanted to start, what was our landing zones, um, how we were going to set the loads on the ground or stage them out. So other than the actual job itself, that was the most difficult part. Once you actually got the operation going, things were pretty easy. It was. Uh, right down the line, right on order, and uh, everyone knew exactly where they had to be and had no issues with it.